So let's look more in depth at the difference between electrolytes and non-electrolytes. Electrolytes we know form ions, non-electrolytes don't. And so far we've gone over that ionic compounds are electrolytes, but now on this slide we see there are two types of electrolytes, strong electrolytes and weak electrolytes. And it is going to be important to know the difference. Strong electrolytes completely dissociate. Completely, completely, completely. And weak electrolytes partially dissociate. Now, hopefully this will help clarify things. For weak electrolytes, there's only two types of weak electrolytes. Weak acids and weak bases. And we'll look in more detail, whoops, we'll look in more detail at the definition of these two chemicals, acids, bases, in a few more slides. So, strong electrolytes are all ionic compounds, strong acids, which are listed in your textbook, as well as strong bases, although you can consider strong bases to be ionic, as we'll see in a few slides. Weak electrolytes are weak acids and weak bases, and non-electrolytes are all molecular compounds that are not acids or bases. So in other words, all solutes can be classified as electrolytes or non-electrolytes. Electrolytes can be classified as strong or weak. Strong electrolytes are all ionic compounds that dissolve in water, all strong acids, and all strong bases. bases. Weak electrolytes are weak acids and weak bases. Non-electrolytes are molecular substances except for acids and bases. So we'll look at the definition of acids and bases, and let me just remind you that this is an important place to know the difference between ionic and molecular substances. Ionic are made of metals and nonmetals, formed from ions, and molecular substances are covalently bonded um, molecules, and molecules are made of nonmetals only. So let's look at some experimental differences between the strong electrolyte, which dissociates completely, the weak electrolyte, which only partially dissociates, and the non-electrolyte, which doesn't dissociate at all because it's not made of ions. And we bring over here this little slide here, and what we have is this little apparatus that has two electrodes. It's plugged into a power source, and it is also um, hooked up to a um, light bulb. And so there's a circuit here, and when the circuit is completed, meaning an electrical current is flowing between these two electrodes here in this solution, our light bulb is going to light up. So if we had a non-electrolyte dissolved in water, indicated here by these molecules, notice there's no charge on them, then the light bulb is not going to light up. If we have a weak electrolyte where something dissociates slightly into ions, then it's going to light up a little bit. But if everything that is dissolved goes into ions, then the light bulb is going to light up brightly. So non-electrolyte, weak, weak electrolyte, and strong electrolyte. Okay, now it's going to be very important that you can identify strong electrolytes. Ionic compounds we identify because they always have a metal in them. Now let's look at how you can identify strong acids and strong bases. There are seven strong acids. You basically have to memorize these. You should memorize the name as well as the formula for each of them. Any other acid is weak. So once you memorize the seven strong ones, all the other acids are weak. And if you remember from chapter two, naming acids, acids will pretty much begin with a hydrogen. We'll look at it in one example where it actually ends in a hydrogen. And then the strong bases, um, as I said earlier, are, can be considered ionic compounds because they are ionic compounds. But the strong bases, there are also seven of these. 
the group one or the alkali metal hydroxides, lithium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, rubidium hydroxide, cesium hydroxide, and the heavier group two metal hydroxides, calcium hydroxide, strontium hydroxide, and barium hydroxide. These are the strong bases. The only weak base that you are going to be required to know in freshman chemistry is ammonia. Ammonia is a weak base.